Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you upgrade RAM of a computer, the EliteBook, HP EliteBook 820. In the description, I'll tell you all the types of computers you can upgrade this, uh, in this way. Actually, uh, with RAM, you can upgrade it the same way. The same way. With all computers there are. The difference is how you open it. So, uh, open this computer. Just remove the lock, then slide it down. It has uh, two slots. It has two slots, so uh, RAM slots. So this machine, you can put two, two GB to make it four GB. You can put um, four, four GB to make it eight. You can put eight, eight to make it 16. But you have to always first check uh, the capacity of the computer. Every computer is designed to hold a certain amount or a certain maximum amount of RAM. Always remove the battery. It's a very good practice. Actually, you can shock the RAM because it's, it uses static energy. And you can shock it and the RAM can become faulty instantly. Always remove the battery before you do anything. So what you do, it has two, uh, on the sides of the RAM chip, there are two metals that hold it together. Push them uh, separate, uh, aside. Automatically, the, the piece will come out. Never use force when you're working with a computer. Now, this is a 4GB RAM chip, DDR3L. It's what uh, these fourth generation, fifth generation machines use. And now I'm putting another uh, 8GB to make it 12. So it's going to be 4GB plus 8, and it will be 12GB of RAM inside this computer. When you're putting it back, please always be soft. These computers are very sensitive and uh, anyway, I just love them so much. I love computers so much. And um, when you're fixing it back, hold it in the right way like I'm doing right now. There is a gap there. It's, it shouldn't, you shouldn't use force at any one time. Then fix in the second one without force. You'll see it going in. It will just slide in, you know, slide in because it's a perfect fit. Then we put back our battery. We shall put back our battery and hold the locks up to, to make it firm, the first one and the second one. Ah, that is how you do it. Then you put the lid back. Now we are, this video is demonstrating how you upgrade RAM. As long as you can open the computer, behind, most computers are very easy to open behind. Some need screwing, you screw them up. Then others, you just have to pull it out. You see? Now this one is, it's that, it's that simple. So when you, after upgrading the RAM, you always have to, sh to switch on the computer to, f to see if the RAM chip you've put in actually works. How do you know RAM works? The computer has to display just perfectly well. You get me? You power it on. If it beeps, then RAM is not working. If it doesn't display, RAM is not working. The moment you see that HP uh, logo, just know that your RAM works perfectly well. But at, I'll wait. I'll first switch it on. Then we shall go to the properties and confirm or verify if really this computer has been upgraded. Now, I'll make another video showing you the difference between hard drive and SSD. Because if it's 12 GB RAM with, a, with an SSD, it loads a little bit more faster compared to hard drive. But still, it's fast, it's good. Now, I'll show, we are going to check. That there are very many ways of checking RAM when you come to the graphical user interface of Windows. So right now, I'll, I press the Windows key plus R. Then I write DX, D-I-A-G. It will help us um, display the Di direct X diagnostic tool for Windows. Um, computers are really beautiful things. Now here it will show you the amount of RAM. Oh, sorry. The chips are 288. It's 16 GB right now. My bad, my bad, my bad. It, the first chip was 8, uh, 8 GB. The, the second chip I put was 8 GB. No, the computer has 16 GB. Of RAM. Now you see how my video is. I'm recording using an iPhone X. 
you know iphone 12 has 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 the sorry the iphone 13 now has the cinematic mode that's why it's a beautiful option compared to this now you can see my ram is now 16 gb now we can confirm that the ram i put really worked kindly subscribe if these videos really you know support me with their with their with a thumbs up and a subscription and i'll be making more videos more basic unedited videos i don't edit i want to give it to you raw raw <laughs>